website developer.com. I am Peter Orski, the Toronto website developer, and this is video tutorial two of two uh, in modifying the simple new subscription block. So in the first tutorial, you'll notice that let me scroll down here. Uh, we removed the radio buttons, and we also changed save to subscribe for anonymous users. Uh, in this video tutorial, we're going to look at eliminating the email label here. Um, getting rid of the subscribe button, replacing it with a uh, an image button, and filling in some uh, some jQuery here into the uh, the input box. So let's go ahead and we'll dive right into it. First things first, let's take a look uh, back at this form uh, that's being created, and we'll see what's actually being output to see where we can override some of this stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna DSM form. I'm gonna save that. Open back up reload this just so that we can see what elements we have to change here. It's always a good idea to use a DSM to look at your actual uh, variables so you can figure out what it is specifically that you have to you have to play with. So looking in here we have the submit, we have type submit, and we have value subscribe. So let's go over and look at forms.api.drupal.org uh, and take a look at what that actually means. So we're going to scroll down, we see we have submit right and this is possible to be a button an image button submit form the full thing so we have submit right now it's currently sitting as a button but we want to change that to image button so based upon this we know that we can go back to our form or our uh, custom module here and we're going to go form oops and this is actually going to be submit right we saw that through the forms api and now the type is going to be equal to uh, image button, right? So just to clarify how we got that, we'll go here. So we have a submit button. Scrolling up to the top, we see we have button, image button. So all we did is we changed it from uh, the value being the type being button to image button. So now. Uh, which is, that's all great, but we actually have to define uh, an actual source for that. So again, if you look here, we have another attribute, the source attribute, and we'll see that it is only available for image buttons, which makes sense. Uh, image buttons are the only ones going to be using a picture uh, or an image itself. So we have to define that as well. So let's go back to our our custom module. So we're going to go form submit, right? Because it's still part of our submit button. And now this is going to be pound src, right, as per the api.drupal.org. So this is where uh, things kind of get a little bit funny. I'm going to paste in some code and uh, I'll explain it right here. Okay, so uh, before the tutorial, I went ahead and I dropped an image into uh, my themes folder. And I'll just show you that uh, right now. So you'll see here I have a mail.png. So Right now I'm using Drupal get path. Uh, that's a function in Drupal which will, uh, the first argument that it takes is uh, what you're actually looking for, so module or theme, uh, etc. So I'm looking for a theme. Um, the theme that I look for is Toronto website developer. That's actually because I did this on my live site. This is actually gonna be Garland, right? So once I return Garland, it's gonna give me the images. Uh, it's gonna append images uh, slash mail.png to that. So let's go ahead and we'll save that and we'll see what we get returned on our site. And there we go. So you'll see here we've uh, we've replaced the actual button that was there. Um, and it looks like it's logged us in. So let's log back out. We'll just get a look at what that actually uh, looks like for the anonymous user. But you'll see there's no more uh, submit button. It's now an actual image button that uh, in the form of a mail envelope. So we'll click on our array here. You can see we can go into the submit. You see our type is actually image uh, submit. Uh, our value, we want it to be subscribe. Users can't change that, so it stays the subscribe. And the source is now themes .gar slash garland slash images mail. And that actually comes from our, our code, uh, you know, appending the uh, images slash mail. So that's all great. Second part of this tutorial, let's add some jQuery to make this uh, pretty cool. So if you remember, We'll, uh, we'll just take a peek back at, at my live site, Toronto Website Developer, just to see what this end function is gonna look like. Right, so you see we have subscribe, click in, click out, 
still there, right? So that's what we want to have on our, our sandbox site. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to a site, which is joesack.com. Uh, and we're going to grab a, a jQuery script off of here. So um, we're going to go ahead and we're going to search for autofill. Uh, and I should note that um, this autofill, this part of the tutorial, this is based on the Lullaby video uh, tutorial, the module development. Um, they actually show you how to do this. And I highly recommend that video tutorial if you're looking for Drupal web development. Um, amazing video tutorial, definitely helpful. But they go through this as well in, uh, in that video tutorial. So um, that's it. We're going to go ahead. We're going to download the plugin here. All right. So we'll just go ahead and we'll click downloads. Right, we'll just download the zip. Now I've already got this, so uh, let's just pretend like I did download it. I unzipped it. Right, so once you you download that, you unzip that. We're now going to go back to our our custom module folder. So we'll go to sites, all modules, custom. And we have our SN override. We're going to create a new folder here. So it's going to be called JS for JavaScript. And go ahead and we're going to paste our documents. Oop. Sorry. What we want to do is SN override. We'll cut those. We'll delete that. So you'll only have the one document. You'll have the jQuery autofill JS. Uh, don't worry about that. You're going to paste that in. And I'll show you where we get the code for, for the other one that I've gone ahead to create. So now if we scroll down to the bottom here, you know, check out demo. And when we scroll down, you'll see here the document ready uh, autofill. We're going to grab this. We're going to copy that. And I'll open up my version. To compare. Right? So we're going to create a specific one, uh, you know, SN override with our uh, with our stuff. Um, and you'll see we really don't need this line because all we want to do is we want to autofill one ID and that's with a certain value. So we'll go ahead and we'll delete that. Um, and this dot autofill, that's actually based on upon the, the script that we downloaded and installed. So um, if we go back, we'll take a look at our site, and we are going to pop open uh, Firebug here. So when we click on this form field, you'll see uh, we have the input edit mail, and we also have the form text. What we're going to do is we're going to go a little bit higher, and we're going to take the actual ID for the block, the Simple News 3 block, um, and we're going to paste that into our, uh, our jQuery script just to identify that this is a specific one that we're using. But we're also going to pull in the form text just to specifically identify the email field here. So when we go back to our script, you'll see here we have simple news block. Mine is dash one because that's from my live site. So it's going to be dash three input dot, uh, input dot form dash text autofill. Um, and we'll, we'll all fill with the, the value subscribe. So we can get rid of this text from the example. Uh, that was just to show you, you would use that text, uh, paste it in, uh, and make your changes to that. But since we already have it predefined, not a problem. We'll go ahead and we'll save this. Now, back to our module. So we have the, we have the uh, RJ, uh, our, our JavaScript, the SN override. We have the autofill script that we downloaded, but right now our module isn't calling either of those. So what we have to add in is, and I'm going to paste some code here and I'm going to explain this to you. And I can just get rid of this line, sorry. So let's add some spaces so we can get a clear view of what we're doing here. So we're going to call the function Drupal add JS. Uh, for those that aren't aware of it, uh, it will just add J uh, JavaScript to your site. Um, so again, we're calling Drupal get path because we want it to get the path of the module, uh, our custom module, SN override, and then to look in specifically at the JS uh, for our two JavaScripts here. So we're going to load those both. Um, we'll go ahead and we will save this, um, go back to our site, and We'll refresh, and we should be pretty, uh, pretty much good to go. 
And there you go. Look at that. We have some JavaScript in here. We click in, we click out. We're good to go. Perfect. So the last thing we need to do is just get rid of this email tag because it's uh, a little bit annoying. So uh, let's go ahead and we'll look through our array again and we'll see where this comes in. So first thing, let's look at mail. So we'll see mail. We have a title of email. We have a text field, the full thing. Um, require true max length size. So let's go ahead and let's get rid of that. So we're going to pop into our module. And the last thing we're going to do here is we're going to add form mail. Oops. Title. Sorry, this should be the panel title. We'll go ahead and we'll save that. We can head back. We'll hit reload here. And look at that. We no longer have a label. We have a pretty cool JavaScript uh, text box. The only thing that we'd want to do is we want to make this picture inside of the box just so that it's a little bit uh, a little bit cooler. You can do that with some CSS, so we'll just quickly just open up Firebug here. So let's go ahead and we'll make this look pretty. Uh, I'm going to do it right in Firebug uh, just to do the element styles, but you would obviously do this in your CSS. I'll just give you an, an idea of what this should look like. So let's go ahead and click on the envelope. So we're just going to edit the style here. So first thing, position has to be absolute, right? Because we don't want to change. Um, so margin top, probably going to be minus 30 px to move it up. Minus 32 px, minus 35 px. Perfect, so that's right inside. Um, and actually, what we should do first is with this form, we want to add some padding so that uh, if somebody's inputting their email address, uh, it won't overwrite. And I apologize, I should have done this first. So it's going to be padding, um, padding right, 5px. And if we just hover over that, probably need it a bit wider. Let's do 35px. Right? Um, now going back to the envelope. Margin left, probably going to be about 125, probably more, 140. As you can see, my estimations are terribly off. Probably go a little bit nicer. There we go. So that uh, the reason why we did that, I'll show you right now. So if somebody clicked in here and went, you know, Peter at Toronto website developer.com, you see they don't overwrite the, the actual envelope. Uh, it just makes it look a little bit nicer. Uh, so then they click submit, and that's it. So uh, just to recap, a uh, very short video tutorial. All that we did was uh, built on Simple News 1, went ahead, uh, added jQuery, re removed the, the label button, and put in the image button there. We did that by looking at the api.drupal.org um, and identifying some of our fields, uh, you know, changing uh, just submit button uh, to an actual image button. Um, with that, please drop a comment. Let me know if this was helpful. Um, I've also changed up the form for the uh, Drupal video request tutorials. Um, just trying to make it easier. Let me know if there's something you specifically want to see. Uh, I'd be happy to help out. Uh, otherwise, I'm just I'm kind of guessing right now um, or picking up things as I find them useful. Uh, I think the next one uh, that I'm going to look at is probably going to be a video queue module, uh, keeping along with uh, developing custom modules. Uh, I went ahead and developed a uh, related content uh, video tutorial for a client. I uh, thought I'd just walk through how we developed that module, but uh, if you think that'll be helpful, drop me a line. I'll eat it up sooner rather than later. Uh, other than that, rate the video, leave a comment, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks very much.